Laura, it was the decade of Netflix. You won that round. Uh, Meta now, this is a... <laughs> Now it's going to be all about Meta and Facebook. And, and let me ask you this. I think a lot of investors in this stock right now would say, sure, fine, it's not a growth stock. It's a value stock. We'll take it. But are you saying that the problem is it's still behaving like a growth stock with all of these metaverse investments? And at some point, they need to decide what they are and what they're going to be. Um, a little bit. I think near term, what we're saying is move to the sidelines because the CEO has told us that he's going to increase spending this year. At the same time, he's, his algorithms are moving his users into reels, which is the TikTok knockoff, and away from his higher monetization newsfeed and story. So he has told you he's going to orchestrate margin pressure. At the same time, we all know short term that Apple's degradation of his targeting ability is hurting the cost per thousand that he's able to charge advertisers. So we know this is going to be really a difficult earnings year for him. Um, so we prefer to move the sidelines while we look at things like, can he actually get the 94 million kids under 35 that have moved to TikTok? Can he get them back? Because they're his primary content creators. Right. Like, I, that's an important question. And I wish I could recall which firm it was, but we just spoke a few weeks back with someone who's much more bullish on Meta for precisely the reason that they actually think Facebook and especially Instagram are going to steal the crown back from TikTok. And especially if TikTok comes under further U.S. regulatory pressure. Is that possible? Um, maybe. But but one of the problems we have now is, do you remember when they bought Instagram and then turned it into, they replicated Snap with it and then yeah. they bought WhatsApp or they bought Oculus? This company, as you know, regulators are, are thinking about undoing those acquisitions. This company will never be able to buy another competitor. So they'll have to always do this. Where the competitor is successful, then they're going to have to spend billions of dollars trying to catch up and replicate the competitor. Someday they won't win. Someday they won't be able to replicate. So even if they can win the TikTok battle like they did the Snap battle, it's unclear to me that you can stop the next one because the fundamental issue here is they don't control content and they don't control their distribution. Their what content is fickle. It can leave and go to TikTok or someone else. And their distribution is through Apple and Android, who can make whatever privacy changes they want, and Meta has no say in the matter. And, and what happens if their version of the metaverse turns out to be wrong and their um, hardware turns out to be uh, eclipsed by somebody else's hardware? There are other manufacturers out there. I could name at least one. Sure. And I think, that, I think that's a great question because what Mark is saying, what the CEO here is saying, is that the material revenue from the metaverse, even if he's right, comes in 2030. So the best question is, why own this stock in 2022 if the return on the investments he's making today are in 2030? Let's go somewhere else and come back in five years and see if his metaverse reality is actually going to turn out to be the right one mm -hmm. and whether he's going to be the hardware that's winning. Laura, with the stock already down 50 percent, perhaps the better question is, why are there only two cells on the street? I think that's a great question, but you're going to have to talk to somebody else because I have a cell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you move a company to sell, and I, I, we, you know, we talk about it because it is so rare, what does that, what should we assume your, your time period is for something like this? I mean, how, how finite is this call? So usually we're using a one-year time frame. So we're saying, hey, move to the sidelines while you assess sort of the strategic um, structural long-term value drivers here, especially the competition and the um, and, and some of the consumer behavior shifts and see if they're going to be able to win, get back those users that they've lost to TikTok.